Hey, welcome to day two of our Insta Makeover three-day live course. Um, my name is Andrew Carter, and if you are back here for day two, this is going to be such a big, big day for, I believe, each and every one of you. So let's talk about what we're going to cover on today's call. So day two is all about why you're not generating leads and sales from Instagram and the proven profit targeting strategy that works to attract uh, and convert high quality leads. So that's what we're going to be covering on today, day two. Um, first thing I want to say before I get into today's content, and it's going to be um, a huge breakthrough for so many of you because you're going to learn and identify what's holding you back from getting the results that you want from Instagram. And not only that, um, you're going to learn what you need to tweak in order to um, attract those high quality leads that of people that have been proven to buy your company's product and service. So, um, but the first thing I want to start with is you get to choose what type of experience you're going to have. That's how much power you have, um, not only in this experience during this three day uh, free course, but in your life and even inside of your business. So the first thing I want to do is I want you to pick your player. I want you to choose how you're going to show up and how you're going to play out in day two today of our three day Insta Makeover series. So I don't know if you've ever played video games, but growing up, I grew up with two older brothers and we played video games. Uh, and if you've ever played any video games, you get to pick your player. Um, I remember playing Mortal Kombat when I was growing up and I always picked Sonya and Sonya was the female and Sonya was known for her signature move of doing flips. And so I would always pick Sonya as my player. And with each player, each player had their own strengths, they had their own weaknesses and they had their own signature moves. And in life, we get to be, we get to pick who and how we're going to show up. We get to pick what type of play, play experience we're going to have and what type of player we're going to be. So I want you to pick what type of player you're going to be today on day two of our Instant Makeover series. Are you going to be the engaged student? Um, are you going to be kind of the skeptical, like, I don't know, I don't know if this really works. Are you going to be the distracted I don't know if this is going to be um, worth my time. So I don't know. I don't know. I'll tune in and tune out. I'll hop on and hop off. You get to pick what type of player you want to be and what type of experience you're going to have because nobody has control over and power over that. Not me, but you. Um, the second thing is you get to pick how exciting or how fun this is. I know for me, um, I value my joy and I value fun. I talked about this on yesterday's call about how can you make even Instagram fun, right? And how to add your passion, your interests into Instagram. Well, you get to also pick how to add your, your fun or your values to even this experience during our three-day course. So for me, if I was you and I was going through this, and if I valued my joy, I would say, okay, how can I make this fun? How can I make this exciting for me? I'm not gonna leave it in Angela's hands. I'm not gonna leave it in the hands of anything else. I'm gonna figure out how can I make this fun? So for me, when I... Um, labeled this the Insta Makeover. Um, it was intentional, but also it was something that would make it exciting, right, for people. Um, because I know what's going to happen for you on this call today, because there's going to be so many big shifts and transformations that can happen in your Instagram marketing if you implement what I share today, that it will be like a makeover. And I remember when I was growing up, I used to watch these TV shows, like talk shows, um, like Ricky Lake, Jenny Jones, all of these shows from back in the day. And I don't know if you remember these, but they had makeovers. And there was a makeover segment. And it was usually somebody who, you know, come and and they're like, they're they're before. They're like, oh, you know, I'm kind of like, I don't know. I'm this is how I dress. Like I'm I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of like putting stuff together. I think I look okay. I don't know. And then they have these panel of experts and the host say, okay panel of experts, there, were, there was always like the makeup artist, the hairstylist, the clothing stylist, and each one would go over to the person who was about to be made over and say what they were going to do, right? So the hairstylist would come and say, okay, this is not bad because the person that's getting made over usually thinks like, oh, this is like, I'm horrible. I'm a mess, right? And you may be thinking like, oh, my Instagram marketing needs so much improvement. It's a mess. But the expert comes over and says, okay, it's not bad. Uh, but here's what, here's my vision. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to give some highlights. We're going to put some layers in. And you start to see the person now starts to trans, like kind of get excited and transform because they're like, whoa, okay, this maybe, maybe I can change. Maybe this can change. Maybe, maybe I can improve. Then each expert comes on. Now that the clothing stylist comes, comes over and says, okay, here's what we're going to do. Then the makeup artist comes over and says, here's what we're going to do. I want you to take this experience, especially day two, 
and treat it like it's a makeover. To treat it like it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that you your marketing sucks on Instagram, that it's horrible, that there's no hope. But these are the tweaks that we can make to take what you have from the state that it is in and really uncover the beauty of your product, your service, of who you are, and now be able to shine, be able to rock it, be able to own it, and be able to have that visible transformation with your Instagram marketing. You see, I just took <laughs> a makeover concept and I brought it over into Instagram marketing. That's how you can make whatever you do in your business, whatever you do in your marketing, whatever you do in life, how you can add some fun and flavor to it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to bring the fun, right? Because we have that power. We have that control. So we're going to do it. So this is all going to be about how to transform your marketing. And you're going to be able to identify why you're not getting leads, why you're not getting sales. And so I'm actually going to go through each of the common experiences that people will have with Instagram marketing. And notice I didn't say problems or, you know, I didn't say um, where people get stuck, right? I reframed it as these are all of your growth opportunities and these are all of the growth milestones that you're going to go through and experience when you're doing Instagram marketing. You will also have these same growth milestones and growth opportunities, even if you are marketing on Facebook, even if you are marketing on YouTube, it is just what everybody goes through when they are going through the process of marketing and learning marketing and growing and scaling a business. So I want you to reframe it. So if you've always been saying like, oh, I don't know, I'm stuck. This is hard. This is a challenge. I'm having a problem here. Look at it as this is a growth experience, right? This is a growth opportunity. This is part of my developmental journey. So first growth milestone or opportunity or experience that you will probably go through if you aren't yet or if you have is no or low followers on Instagram. So I want you to, as I go through each of these, highlight, you know, star on your piece of paper. I want you to take notes and I want you to pinpoint which one of these are you experiencing. Now, the great thing about this and you investing your time in this is even if you've only experienced one or you're in one of the beginner ones I talk about, you're going to have some of these other challenges. And because you've invested your time into watching this, you'll now know when you hit this next challenge coming up, you'll know how to deal with it, right? And how to handle it. Okay. So the first growth milestone or opportunity experience is you may have no or low number of followers. So I'm going to give you three areas to look at um, if that's been your experience and if that's the developmental stage that you're at when it comes to your Instagram marketing. Number one is do you have an attractive bio? So what do I mean by that? If I were to go to your Instagram bio right now, the first thing I would do is I would take a look and see what do you have in your bio? Um, are you letting people know who you are, who you help and how you help them? Because one of the things that people look at when they uh, are considering whether or not they want to follow you is who are you? Like, who the heck are you? What do you what do you do? Who, who are you? What are you about? Are you relevant to me? Like, would you be of value to for me to follow? And one of the first places people look and you probably do the same thing. Look at your own behavior. When you get ready to follow somebody on Instagram, what do you do? Do you look at the bio? Probably. Um, do you scan and look at like, OK, what are they posting? What is you know, what, what kind of content do they have? And then you make that decision, right? So for you, do you have an attractive bio? If not, that's one of the little makeover areas <laughs> that um, we could do to help you boost your number of followers. Number two, looking at your post quality and frequency. So when people look at your page, do they see, are you posting anything that's relevant to them? So do your posts align with who you say you are in your bio, who you say you help in your bio, and, and what you say you help those people with. So if I were to actually look at your posts, does it align with what you say you have, what, the promise that you have in your bio? If not, that's another little area that we can, we could just tweak for a little bit and, and do a little makeover, right? Also, how frequently you post. If you have only have like four posts in total on your whole Instagram account that I know like you don't even, you're not even active. So why would I follow you, right? Um, if you only post maybe a little, you know, once every week, again, people are looking at, should I follow you? Are you someone who are post posting relevant content for me um, frequently? Will I get value from following you? So take a look at, your post quality and frequency. And the third thing for when it comes to no or low number of followers it is, are, do you have both a passive and active follower strategy to grow your followers? So what I mean by passive is when you're creating your posts on Instagram, are you including hashtags so that people who are your ideal clients or ideal customers 
will they be able to find you just passively from your posts and the hashtags that you're including in your posts? That's a passive strategy. An active strategy for getting followers are, are you following people um, who fit the description of your ideal uh, customers? And we're going to talk about how to do that in the profit targeting section here on today. But are you following them so that now when they see that, hey, so-and-so is following me, they now go over to your page. And because you did the other two things that I just discussed, you have an attractive bio that talks about who you are, who you help and how you help them. And because your content, your posts are relevant um, to those to that particular issue of, of who you're who you're helping, how you're helping them, because you're posting relevant content to that, then now they say, okay, now I'll follow you back. That's an active strategy where literally if you just do what I just shared, and I'm gonna talk about how you find those people. But if you do that, like I literally started my Instagram account, I talked about this yesterday, how the first time that I got on Instagram was when I started building my, I didn't have a personal Instagram account. The first account I ever opened was when I started using Instagram to grow my home-based business. And I got followers the same day because of this strategy. Um, and I got target targeted followers. Some of my newest followers became leads the same exact day they followed me because of these strategies I'm going to give you today. So again, if you have no or low followers, if that's your first growth milestone, remember if those of you who just joined, I see a couple people just hopped on, we're not describing these as problems or challenges or where I'm stuck. These are just normal growth milestones that everybody face. I don't care what platform you're on. So even when I dominated YouTube and got you know customers from YouTube, I had the same thing. Like nobody's viewing my videos. I don't have a lot of, of subscribers. So I had to go through this growth milestone to elevate to the next level, to the next milestone. Even if you're on Facebook, you may have you know a Facebook fan page. You may not have a lot of fans on your fan page. These are the same milestones that you will face no matter what. But it's about understanding, okay, how do I, what do I do when I face this milestone? And am I going to be the type of leader that's going to now say, okay, let me push through and let me break through this hurdle so that now I can elevate and graduate to the next milestone, right? Okay, so that's the first growth milestone. The second growth opportunity or milestone is you're getting followers, but no leads. So if that's been your experience, I want you to write that down and write it on a piece of paper. Um, this is what you want to take a look at and what could be the causes of these things, of you having followers, but no leads. The first cause is you're not doing strategic marketing. And I talked about this a little bit yesterday, that there's a difference between strategic marketing and attraction marketing. A lot of people, I would say the majority of people who are trying to do online marketing, they have heard about attraction marketing at some point and they're doing it, but they're like, oh my God, I'm getting people who are following me. I'm getting people who are liking and commenting, but I'm not getting any leads of people who are interested in my product or service or my business opportunity. And the reason why is because attraction marketing was never intended to help you convert. You need to do strategic marketing, which is what I teach. So attraction marketing was just designed to do what it actually says it is, to attract people to you, right? To get them to know, like, and trust you. But strategic marketing now is the next phase, the next step of now getting those people to convert. So here's what I mean. So I would take a look if I were to do an Insta makeover of your Instagram is I would take a look at your post and I would see, are you just doing attraction marketing or are you doing strategic marketing, which I teach? So here's how I would look at it. I would look and I would say, I would look at your post and I would say, based on what you're trying to sell, uh, whatever product or service, I would look and I would look at your post and I would say, do your post talk about the objections that someone would have, the concerns, the fears, the limiting beliefs that someone would have about buying your product. If not, you're not doing strategic marketing, you're doing attraction marketing. Attraction marketing may be, hey, I'm getting this result with this product, here's here's the result that I'm getting, you know, pictures before, like a before and after picture of your weight loss story. Um, uh, attraction marketing may be a lifestyle posts of you and your family. Um, uh, attraction marketing may be, oh, here's like five, um, let's see, if I was marketing, um, let's say I'm marketing, I'm in total life changes, which I'm not, I'm not affiliated with, but I'm just giving an example. And their product is ISOT, one of their products. And I would do a post about like, here's like five of the ingredients in the ISOT and here's the benefits of it, blah, blah, blah. That's all of, the, all of that's attraction marketing, but it's not designed to get someone to convert. Strategic marketing says, what are the objections? What are the common concerns and fears that people have? But when they're getting ready to buy my product, how can I put that in front of them so that now they they're, that helps them overcome those hurdles and those fears and those concerns and challenges that addresses those concerns and challenges and I'll get them to buy. So are you doing that type of marketing? If not, 
this is why you're getting lots of followers but no leads. The second thing is, are you using if you get if you're getting followers with no leads, you probably have no strong call to action in your Instagram posts, in your Instagram stories, or Instagram bio for you to capture their information. So, you know, I teach in a lot of my different courses, especially in my um, my rapid social media success course, um, how to make a call to action and then how to create your own marketing and lead system so that now you're actually capturing someone's information, like their email address, because Every company teaches the same system. I don't care what company you're in. All, every company will say when it comes to selling products, be a product of the product, get a result with the product, share your results with people, right? Then collect and, and tell people what product you use, get their, pique their curiosity, right? Get their information, present to them the information about the product, collect their information, their name, their email, so that you can follow up with them. If you're not capturing names and emails on, online, you're not following your company's system. And if for some reason your Instagram account gets shut down or, you know, if you only are relying on that, then now you don't have a list of people. You just have some people that are following that you don't know how to even follow up with them even beyond and off of the platform of Instagram. So then you're kind of, you know, you're, you're now dependent on Instagram, which is a scary place to be. So you want to make sure that when you are posting that you're driving people to a place where you can follow up with them and you have strong call to actions, right? So one of the things that I did to get leads very quickly, so I talked about how um, even with a new Instagram account in a new company, how I was able to hit the first rank, leadership rank in the company, and I used Instagram as one of the strategies, is I did Instagram stories. But in my Instagram stories, I, I gave a strong call to action. I had a slide in my Instagram story that said, click the link in my bio. And then I literally, in the next slide in my IG story, had a picture, a screenshot picture I took of my Instagram bio with a red circle around the, the call to action button in my bio. So I told them to click the link in the bio, then I had a big fat circle <laughs> around the link of my bio for them to click. Then when someone clicked on that link in my bio, um, I had a link tree, which is what I use to have links in my bio, but I had a link tree account and it had on there like where they can now apply to become a customer to be, you know, to buy one of my products. So I had the, the button where they have to click on to apply circled. So I gave clear instructions on like literally walking people through the process of how to even become a lead and what they will see. That boosts your number of leads that you get. If you don't give clear calls of action like that, that's one of the reasons why um, you're not getting the leads that you want. So that's number two. Number three, there's no congruency in your posts to the next step. So if you're telling people, you know, click the link in my bio to whatever, whatever they'll see once they click the link in your bio. Um, and now whatever you're saying in your post, if it doesn't match what they'll see when they click the link in the bio, they're not going to become a lead. So for example, I teach um, a lot of my students and my clients how to use things like application funnels so that now they can just get people to apply and the prospecting is all automated for them. That's what allows them to be able to save time and not do this kind of back and forth DMing thing, right? Um, or I teach them how to, depending on the product that they are marketing, um, how to have a, a funnel where now when someone puts when someone clicks on the link in their bio, it takes them to that marketing funnel for the product. Now, whatever they're driving people to, whether it's an application or if it's to a marketing funnel, um, whatever they say in their posts, they have to tell people like, look, click the link in my bio to fill out an application for my Fit for His Purpose health challenge. And whatever I say, and when they click on that link in the bio, it should match what they see on that page. If it doesn't, people will be like, wait, what a sec wait a minute, I don't think this is the right page, let me get off. So if you're not doing that, if you're not making sure that wherever you're directing people to, to go to, whatever, if it's a capture page, if it's um, you know a, a website for your company, whatever, if what you're saying in the post that's telling them to take that next step, if that doesn't match the words, what they'll see on that page, that right there will kill your leads. Um, I did this strategy not only on Instagram, but on YouTube. That is what helped me boost my number of leads that I'm getting from YouTube videos. But also I taught the strategy to someone with their Facebook ads. And before they learned it, they were struggling. They were getting, you know, they were trying to do ads or spending all this money on ads, but they weren't getting leads from their ads. They learned that one strategy for me, Anitra Milton, and I, and, um, I have a video of her talking about this. It trained, now she started getting leads from her ads and it was just this one 
thing, <laughs> just the congruency thing that made the biggest difference. So check that out. See if you are, are you congruent in your posts to your capture page and to where you're directing people to. So in your posts and Instagram, does the languaging that you're telling people to go next match um, the next step that they're going to see? And then the last thing under um, the followers but no leads is you don't have an active lead strategy. So what I'm seeing a lot of people do, and this is why in my um, rapid social media success course, I'm teaching people how to get leads and get get results quickly is because we have active strategies. So remember when I talked about the first milestone that you'll go through um, with Instagram marketing is no or low number of followers. Is remember I had a I, I gave you a passive and an active strategy to getting followers. So we're not like waiting around and like, okay, well, let me just like post some stuff and then hopefully I'll get some, like, no, we, we, we don't have time. <laughs> we gotta have like, this is what where the rap it comes from, right? So even with leads, people don't have an active lead strategy. So when you're posting and you're doing the strong call to actions in your post, you're doing the strategic marketing, you're having the congruency, those are great passive strategies for now people see your posts, they'll go over there and, and become, you know, a lead. Great. Awesome. But I also teach an active lead strategy where as soon as, as soon as someone becomes a follower, even a new follower, I teach here's, you want to send a direct message to those people and connect with them in a way where it's not creepy, where it's not salesy. It's literally just saying, Hey, thanks for following me. Um, I post on these top of top, top of, top of topics, uh, type of topics. So for example, um, if I was in a health and wellness company, I teach um, people how to, um, uh, I'm just spitballing here, but like uh, I teach people how to lose weight. I teach people how to uh, get in shape and I teach people how to, you know, um, create an optimized supplement plan so they can have the energy to, you know, uh, live their best life, something like that. And then whatever those three things are that align with what you talk about, right? And then I say, hey, you know, I'm always interested in how I can provide the most value for my followers. So what topics do you want to see me cover? And then now here's what, why this is brilliant and why this works so well is because number one, <laughs> you're asking them for their, whatever they give you is going to be content ideas for you. So if you're always like, I don't know what to post, I don't know. Again, remember what I talked about on day one, marketing is not a monologue. There's not just for you to figure out and try to perfect in your lab, like what would be the perfect thing that people want to see? I don't know. I don't know. You ask your audience, you ask your market. That's what marketers do. We have a conversation with our audience. We let them tell us from their conversations, from their questions, from their concerns, from how they're engaging with our content, what they like to see. So I built in a strategy where when I DM people, I ask them what they want to see. That's number one. It helps me come up with content ideas, but I don't have to. Hello. Number two, it also, whatever they respond to tells me what problem they're actually dealing with without me being creepy. And, you know, it, it's, in a, it's a very conversational way. So if, if you hear that I talk about these three topics, how to lose weight and keep it off, how to optimize your, you know, um, your supplements so that you can supplemental routines so you can have energy um, and to do what you what you want to do and live your best life. I help you you know, um, uh, I'll come up with like another topic. So if you see that I talk about those three things and you come back to me and say, well, I would love, I would love for you to talk about, um, like, how do you pick the best supplements? That might've been something that you had never even considered. Right. But here's why this, this works, because if you are asking me that question, that tells me a couple of things. Number one, you're kind of interested in, what's the best type of supplement? So that tells me maybe you might might be taking supplements or um, you not maybe you're worried or you're thinking about getting supplements, but you're worried about, I don't know what's the best ones to pick. So now we start to have a prospecting conversation where I can now feedback, come back to you and say, oh, that's a great question. I'll definitely add that to my list. Um, so let me ask you a question just so I can make sure I can answer your question better. Uh, are you taking supplements right now? Like, are you on a supplemental routine? You know, what's going on? Um, and then now we're starting to have a conversation about the topic that of what I actually sell, right? If I'm in a health and wellness company, I probably sell supplements. So now this is just an easy, natural way for you to start having conversations with people quickly, even if they're a new follower, without it being creepy or salesy. So that's a great strategy, by the way, for 
turning your followers into leads very quickly. And that's some of the things that I teach in um, the Rapid Social Media Success course. So that is the four areas for the second growth milestone, followers, but no leads. As I go through these different milestones, what I recommend is that um, if you are, you feel like I have all these, all these, I'm, I'm at all these different milestones, Angela. I don't have enough followers. I don't have enough leads, blah, 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 like on and on and on. What I recommend that you do is definitely take notes of all of these different milestones um, because it's only going to accelerate your growth through each of these milestones. Because now when you face them, you're not gonna be like, oh, heck, what do I do? I don't know what to do. I don't know. Why am I, why am I, why am I here? Why am I stuck? Why can I grow? You'll know now what to do. But, um, the other thing is I want you to, to focus on from the very beginning. So like if you, if you like, I don't have any followers and leads and I don't have any, um, and, and I'm not, I'm getting, I have some follow. Well, let's say you have a little bit of followers and, but you also don't have any leads as well. So I would actually, if I were you start with the earlier growth phase. So start with what I shared, the three strategies I shared under the um, know our low number of followers. Once you've done those things, then you graduate to the next second milestone, which is the followers, but no leads. So always start with the earlier phase. Um, if you are like, hi, I, I, all of these apply to me. <laughs> start with the earlier and then work up, work up. That way you're not overwhelmed, right? So we, we, we don't have that experience um, as you're going through this. Okay. I'm just doing a quick... Okay, sounds it. Okay, so now we're going to go to the third growth opportunity, which is leads but no sales. So let's say now, because you followed this um, growth plan, uh, you are now you have followers. You now are getting leads from those followers, but now you're like, okay, now I'm at this point and I'm having this experience where I have leads but no sales. So let's talk about that. Number one, you want to look at Chances are, if that's happening, you probably don't have um, any follow-up or any strong follow-up. So you want to take a look at how how are you following up with people um, that are lead. Number two, you probably don't have any urgency. And this is one of the biggest, biggest things that I see with um, a lot of people that before they start working with me, before they start buying my courses or coaching program, anything like that. It's They don't have a sense of urgency. So they don't know how to create their own promotion and create their own urgency to get people to buy and get off the fence. So you are probably having people who are like, yeah, you know, I, I'm kind of interested in this product, but um, I'll get it later or I'll get it when I get my check or later on in the month or whatever. So you get all these people who are like delaying because you don't have any urgency to get people to enroll quickly. So my tip is to use challenges. So one of the things, um, depending on, um, the company and the product that um, a lot of my students or my, my, my coaching clients have, um, one of the, the strategies I give them is to create a challenge around their product or service. Why a challenge? Why? Because they have the start date that they can leverage so that now you have something that starts a challenge that starts on a specific day. So now you can tell people, look, you need to buy your product. At, you know, at this time so that you can get it in time for when the challenge starts on X, Y, Z date. This is what I did to, and even in a health and wellness company, to be able to start having um, to start having success and start getting customers and hit the first leadership rank in that company. I was able to leverage a challenge. So that's tip number one. Number two, you can get bonuses for getting started. So for people who become a customer and buy your company's product, what's a bonus that you'll give them? For people who join your opportunity and become a team member, what's the bonus that you have uh, for people to join you? The other thing is um, what you can do even with the recruiting, uh, the recruiting side of the business, when you recruit someone, you may have a new team member orientation that your team does, um, or even some, some companies do these. You can leverage that and say, hey, you know, um, someone who's interested in joining, you can say, great, our new team member orientation starts on XYZ day, or some, some, um, some companies and some teams have like a Saturday training. That's, you, you leverage that event to get people started to say, Okay, great. We have our Saturday training. You need to get started for Saturday because we're doing a Saturday training just for our new people um, to get people started off of the month to, to crush this next month coming up. You can leverage those events to get people to take action and buy now. Um, the third thing is kind of similar to, but no incentives. So if you're not, if you don't have any incentives for people to take action, it's kind of similar, but 
Um, using challenges, like I said, bonuses for new customers when they get started from you, get started with you, new bonuses for team members when they buy from you. Um, one of the things that I talk about, I have um, those who get my uh, rapid social media success course, they get access to my insider membership, which is like a monthly uh, Q&A marketing review uh, calls that I do, but also they get access to additional training. So I have this recruiter booster training inside of the insider membership, where basically it's teaching people how to leverage the customers that you're getting to boost your recruiting. And one of the things that I teach people, and this is what I'm sharing now, and this is one of the five strategies that I teach in that recruiter booster training, is to have a bonus, to give somebody a bonus when they get started with you, to be able to leverage it to boost your recruiting faster. So if you have a bonus for people when they get started working with you, like when they join your team, oh, you get my my um, my five customer blueprint to jumpstart your business with your first five customers. And you get this when you get started and join the team that boosts your recruiting because now people see, whoa, OK, there's going to be a blueprint. Number two, it will boost people who will sign up with you as opposed to another distributor in the company, because now you have an exclusive bonus that other people do not have. This is one of the things that I did to leverage to become a top six leader inside of my company bonuses. The other thing is it also helps your team recruit because now any new member on your team you can tell them you can leverage this to boost your recruiting as well. You can get access to this top, uh, this uh, this uh, five customer jumpstart blueprint plan that is a bonus for our team. You'll be able to offer that same bonus as well to your new recruits so that you can recruit people more easily, even as a newbie on our team. That will also boost your recruiting as well. So that is the third growth opportunity, which is leads and no sales. The fifth or the fourth, I'm sorry, fourth growth opportunity now is you're getting sales, but not consistent sales. So uh, here's what uh, the solutions for that and why this may, may be happening. Number one, you're probably not doing any tracking or very little of it. Um, I talked about this yesterday, talked about this yesterday, but um, one of the things that you want to do is make sure that you're tracking all the key numbers of from your Instagram marketing so you know what's working, what's not working, what part of the process um, is breaking down for you. So one of the things that I have in my insider training is um, a, a spreadsheet that tracks all your numbers from Instagram, um, like how many number of um, followers you get, uh, how many um, DM messages you send, like all it has all of those metrics. And you want to have something like that, create something like that, or, you know, get access to it. But you want to be able to track. So then now you're not randomly figuring, trying to figure out, well, why is this, why am I not getting any sales or what's, what's breaking down? What's the cause you, if you don't track, you don't know uh, what to, what to really focus on in terms of what you need to fix. You could just be randomly thinking like, Oh, you know what? People are just not buying, but really you may not even had enough people view um, if it's a, a presentation that your company has or a video about the product, you may not even have enough people to even watch that. And now you know that's the area that I need to focus on in my marketing, improving that particular number, the number of people that are viewing that presentation or viewing that more information about the product. So if you're not tracking, you don't really even know what to really what you need to tweak to get more consistent sales. And if you're not tracking, you won't know your numbers. So you know, okay, for every, like for me, when I first got started online, for every 25 leads, I got a sale. Then I, because I knew my numbers and I was tracking, I knew what specific area, what one area I needed to focus on improving. And when I focused on that one area, I went from one out of 25 to one out of 10. So now it took less people because I knew what area I needed to focus on um, improving. And I wasn't just guessing. So are you tracking? If not, this is one of the reasons why you're getting sales, but not consistent sales. Second thing is um, you don't have a consistent marketing and sales process. So what I mean by a consistent marketing and sales process is, you, and then we talked about this a little bit yesterday, but you don't have consistent a content creation system. So you're kind of just like randomly marketing and randomly creating posts um, on Instagram and no clear strategy for what you're posting, how often you're posting and what you're posting. And you probably are saying different things to different leads. Um, you're pointing people to different company videos or different 
you know, tools that they give you to share more about the product or share more about the opportunity. So it's like random, like different people are being told different things. You're, you're, you're following up with people in different ways. There's no clear um, follow up process that you're following in terms of like a script or some follow up questions. It's just like this all over the place. Right. Anybody can get anything They're You're directing them to any different place. So now even when you get sales, you don't know, OK, what works best? <laughs> You're trying to do so then you're doing different things with different people, following up with them in different ways. And so now it's it's just inconsistent with your you're getting inconsistent sales because you're not following a consistent um, sales marketing and sales process. Um, so this is really critical. So you want to make sure that one of the things I tell people to do and I help people do is create like a, a marketing funnel, which is really literally a process that you move people through that stays the same for all of your leads. So having a marketing funnel for Instagram or Facebook or YouTube, where now you're moving people through that same process, you have the same consistent follow-up with people. So now when you get a sale and you track your numbers, you know what's working and you know what process those people came through. And now you know when you track your numbers, okay, this is what's working to bring people through that system. Okay, now I just need to improve the system here and you know where, where you need to focus because of you're tracking your numbers. But then now you know too, okay, great. I just need to move people, more people through the system to now get more sales and you know how to scale up quickly. So one of the things that I teach people is how to have a 90 day game plan, how to go from zero sales to at least getting their first sale from Instagram their first month, right? And they know the numbers of what it took because they're using the tracker that I give them. And then now, once they know their numbers for to get one, and they're using a marketing funnel, they're using the same process to get that one, then the next month, month two, the goal is to scale up to five total customers. Because they know what it took to get one, they now times it by five, they now get five customers the next month. And then they go from five customers in month two to five a week not by working more, but they have, they follow a presentation system where now they are selling people via a group, doing group presentations. And they have a process, a presentation process that they follow. And then now they leverage different incentives for to get people to take action. That's what made me start recruiting and bringing in, I'm sorry, bringing in over five people a week and now becoming a top five salesperson in my company. And I didn't have to work more, but it's about having a, a, a plan to scale and grow and get consistent sales. And it comes from tracking. It comes from having a consistent marketing and sales process. The third thing, if you're getting sales, but not consistent sales is you're not, you're, there's no analysis. So you probably are not analyzing what worked and what didn't work. So when you're doing your Instagram marketing and you're just like posting randomly, you're not asking yourself the question, what Instagram posts and stories converted into new customers and team members for me? Because then now, I'll know what type of stories to to create that are actually bringing in the buyers. I know what posts I'm creating that are bringing in the buyers. And now I can, as I'm starting to get sales, because remember, this is the fourth growth opportunity, sales, but, but not consistent sales. If I know that now, I can throw some fuel on this machine. That means I can take a percentage of the sales that I'm generating now, and now I can invest in ads if I wanted to, and I can pay ads to get the post that I know converted into sales, I can now throw an ad to that one. And it's not like I'm not scared to do it because I know that's a post that translated into consistent sales because translated into sales for my business. And now it's not me just throwing money out there, but because I tracked, because I had a, a, a consistent follow up marketing and sales system, then now when I reinvest back into that and I know what worked. I'm now fueling what worked. I'm now throwing fire on and fuel on what worked. So are you asking the questions, what stories are converting? So for me, when I told you guys that um, I did an Instagram story, and I did Instagram stories to get leads, and I knew that um, a particular story that day that I did generated multiple leads for me. And these are from people who just started following me that same day. Guess what? I went and wrote down. <laughs> I put up the pen and I said, hey, what was that story? And I wrote down what the type what type of story it was, how I structured that story. And now I have a proven story template that works for me because 
in my business because I paid attention. I wrote down what it was that worked and I also was tracking. So I knew that worked. Okay, now let me start doing more stories that follow that particular template. Okay. Second thing is, are you analyzing what Instagram accounts are bringing you the followers that are now converting into customers? As you're having these conversations, if you follow my Instagram strategies um, that I teach, when you're doing some of these DM conversations with people using the script that I that I give people, um, as people are now are now you're getting sales. Remember, you're in the fourth growth opportunity. You're getting sales, but not consistent sales. You should be asking people. Um, Hey, or looking at, because a lot of times when these people now become customers, they're already connected to you on Instagram. They're, they're your followers now. So you can go back and look at, okay, oh, this person just became a customer of mine. I would go back and look at what Instagram accounts are they following? Oh, you know what? They came from this account. I, you know, when I went and did that strategy that Angela taught me of following um, followers of the accounts that my ideal customers follow, oh, they came from that account all right, I'm going to start fishing more from that pond. I'm going to start now following more people from that Instagram account because that Instagram account, those followers of those that Instagram account brought me these customers. And so now you start to refine more and more what you're doing and nailing in a little bit more and a little bit more of, okay, these are the type of posts that are working great. These are the type of Instagram stories that are working great. These are the type of um, Instagram accounts and the followers from these Instagram accounts that are converting into customers for me. Okay, great. Now I'm going to focus on more of those type of accounts and following the, the people of that follow those accounts, right? Um, so if you're not doing that, you're just kind of like guessing or randomly throwing stuff out there. And that's not how you pre predictably and consistently grow and scale your business using Instagram marketing. So this leads me into the fourth and final thing with under this fourth growth opportunity, sales but not consistent sales is number four. You're probably, if you're not getting consistent sales, you're not refining your marketing to laser focus your posts and your messaging in your posts to target those who buy. So this is about profit targeting, which we're going to talk about next. All right. So hopefully you've taken notes um, about all of these different growth opportunities because again, you will deal with these <laughs> um, no matter what platform you're on. We're talking about Instagram, but I, I, this you're going to face these same same milestones on Facebook, these same milestones on Instagram. But now you're going to look at them as what they truly are, not problems, not places where you're stuck. But this is just an area where you are being forced to now grow and grow and get to that next level. So I've now covered how to, how to overcome no or low number of followers. I've covered now how... What hap what's causing the followers but no leads. I've covered what's causing the leads and the sales. I've covered um, what's causing the sales but not consistent sales. And I've literally given you all of the possible reasons why those things happen. And then let me tell you what I've just handed to you. I've not only handed you basically the cheat code. So we talked about, remember I used the analogy of um, we're playing, like if you're playing a video game, how are you playing? How are you showing up? What's the player that you're now showing and, and showing up as during this call, right? Um, but the cheat code I've given you so that now I, if you face any of these, you already know now, boom, this is what, this is the, the, the level I'm at right now in this game of Instagram marketing. Boom. Here's what I need to do for this, the, to, to overcome this phase, to now graduate to the next level of the Instagram marketing game. But here's what I want you to understand. I did not just give you the cheat code for, to grow your business, but I, I hope you recognize, I hope you catch that I gave you the cheat code of how to coach your team when they have these issues. I hope you caught that. I hope you caught that you've just now been empowered to now lead your team effectively because I've literally given you the cheat code because guess what? Not only are you going to go through this when you're playing this Instagram video game, this Instagram game, but your team are going to have these same exact challenges these same exact, exact growth opportunities. And you're not going to be now one of these leaders that say, well, you know, you just got to keep taking action. Well, you know, you got to just know your why, you know, all of that stuff. <laughs> you're going to now be the leader that says, okay, what, I wonder what growth opportunity, what, what phase of this game are they at? Oh, and then now you'll know what exact areas to coach them on 
and give them strategic strategies and not just, well, just take action. Well, just know your why. Because of your investment in yourself in this Insta makeover, it has helped you now elevate not only your ability to play this Instagram marketing game and, and, and elevate your performance from you, you know, your Instagram marketing and your business, but it's elevated your leadership. And this is how I want you to moving forward, no matter what you watch, no matter what you invest in, even if it's my stuff or somebody else's stuff, don't just look at it through the lens of, okay, is this gonna help me grow my business? That's great. But remember, you are a leader. Remember that even if you don't have a team yet, even if you don't have people who are active yet, if that's where you're trying to go, if that's where you want to become, who you want to become, you got to start thinking like the leader now and saying, I'm blazing a trail for my people now. So that means that I got to step up. That means that I got to invest. I got to learn what I need to do because I'm not passing down these challenges generationally to everybody on my team. No, no, my team deserves access to this information. And they had a leader who was willing to blaze the trail and invest the time, invest the money to learn it because that's what we do. That's the type of leader that they're following. That's the mindset that I had. So I wasn't just looking at what was going to grow my business, but I was already thinking about the people that were going to come and that were going to be on my team. Sometimes as leaders, we're going to have to be more committed, more invested in people on the front end before they're even invested in us. And that's the leadership game that a lot of people don't talk about. And in order for you to be willing to be that type of leader, you got to love people enough to do it. You got to be willing to say, I loved you before you even came on this team. I thought of you <laughs> before you even showed up. And when you not only live that, but now you embody that and now they see who you are and you're able to now demonstrate that and show that in your Instagram marketing, because now that's what you're living and that's who, the type of leader you are, that attracts people. So we can talk about attraction marketing all day, but what really attracts people is genuineness. It's understanding and them knowing and feeling from you and your heart that you actually care about them. And it wasn't just because you said it, it was because you invested your time, your money and your efforts in learning and helping blaze a trail for them, for them to follow. And I know that each and every one of you that invested and is, is investing your time in this instant makeover course, that that's the type of leader that you are and it's the leader that you're going to have to continue to be in order to be on the leaderboard, <laughs> right? Um, that's the type of mindset you got to have. So we've talked about that. Now we're going to talk about coming up here, the profit targeting. But I want to share um, real quickly before I get into the profit targeting. So the profit targeting, what I'm going to talk about is how do you um, attract high quality leads that not only can afford your product, but can, that that are motivated to buy it. So that's what we got coming up here. But first I wanna say, um, I talked about when I was going through each of those uh, milestones, the you know no followers or little to no followers, um, the followers with no leads, leads with no sales, sales with not consistent sales. I talked about uh, one of the courses that I have is the Rapid Social Media Success course. Um, so we're on day two of our instant makeover. Day three, tomorrow, we're gonna talk about how to, um, how to get results with Instagram in only two hours a day. But I want for those of you who want to take it a step further, and for those of you who are like, okay, okay, I got it. But I, like, how can I get your support, Angela? How can I have the, the the actual marketing system? How do I get the training to do it? I just want to, um, for five minutes, talk about the uh, Rapid Social Success course and the discount I'm giving for all of you guys that showed up and invested your time in the instant makeover. So I have a course called the um, Rapid Social Social Media Success Course, and what it's designed to do is to give you the step-by-step -step training on how to get rapid success with Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. I know all of you that are on here are interested in Instagram and you're like, okay, why are you talking about this course that talks about YouTube and also Facebook? Because what I teach people how to do is go from zero customers to five customers um, a week on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. When you master Instagram, the goal is to, get to five customers a week with Instagram, and then now move over and leverage YouTube, leverage master YouTube, then master Facebook. And now you're hitting all three, mas you're mastered and you're hitting and getting customers with all three platforms. The other thing is 
there's so much that you can, there's a, there's a crossover, right? So like a lot of the things that you'll be doing on Instagram, the content that you'll be creating on Instagram, it's going to be so much easier for you than, to now transfer it over to YouTube because you can just repurpose and use some of that same content. So don't feel like you got to like go and, and redo and learn a whole new uh, and, and create new content for a whole nother platform. Um, so let me talk about, I'll talk real quickly here and then we'll get into the profit targeting. So what's in the rapid social media success system? You get access to all of my courses on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. So you get my Facebook likes to leads course. That course teaches you how to find your ideal proven buyers with the income to buy your company's product, how to schedule and automate an entire month of Facebook posts in only three hours, and how to turn your Facebook fans into leads. So that kind of gives you um, everything about how to grow your, your home-based business using a Facebook fan page. So in that course, you have like a Facebook quick start blueprint that shows you how to get your first 30 leads in seven days. Then you get my Facebook attractor application. Um, this course teaches you how to create and launch your own Facebook ad to attract high quality leads who will apply to join to buy your company's products. So remember, I talked about when we were talking about um, if you're getting leads but no sales, how important it is for you to leverage some sort of urgency to get people to buy instead of them saying, well, I'll wait till I get my check or okay, that sounds good. I'll get it later. Well, the beautiful thing about the Facebook attractor training is I'm teaching you how to turn your product into a challenge. So basically, like if you're in a health and wellness company, how to create a challenge and then now have an application form for people to apply to get information about the challenge. And then now I teach you how to set up the application, how to set up the ad, how to drive people to the ad from the application, how to now get the leads, how to follow up. I give you all of the follow up emails. Um, I give you the, the phone script, all of that um, in that course. But here's the beautiful thing about this with Instagram. It, I'm teaching you with Facebook, but I use that same application and link to it on my Instagram bio. And that's how I was getting leads from my Instagram story. So I would tell people in my Instagram story, I click the link in my bio and that link was to the application form. So that's in the Facebook attractor application training. Um, you'll also get access to the MLM Insta sales training and marketing reviews. So this is actually, um, review calls that I did, Q&A calls that I did related to Instagram. So they're covering all kinds of things about how do I um, uh, help my team duplicate using Instagram? How, how do I create a duplication plan for my team? If I'm getting sales on Instagram, how do I now teach my team how to do that? That's in there too as well. Uh, how do I create a customer game plan? Like if, if I want to get like 10 customers um, from Instagram, how do I map that out for this month? That's in there. So you discover how to gain followers and how to rapidly turn those followers into customers on Instagram in under two weeks, even with under 300 followers. You also get access to my YouTube training. So you'll you learn how to create YouTube videos that will generate leads for you around the clock 24 seven. Um, so you'll learn the strategies that I use to get over 400 customers from YouTube, earn a full time income and become a top five salesperson in my company through YouTube. You'll also get access to uh, my membership site, which is Lifetime Access. So I do monthly Q&A calls where you can literally, as you're going through the trainings, if you're like, I want help, Angela, I've hit this milestone in my Instagram marketing. I'm getting leads but no sales. Okay, I want I want you to like dig into now, what do I need to do? What do I need to fix? Can you take a look at my Instagram post, my Instagram marketing, all of that. If you know you want reviews, you get access to that and to those monthly calls. The other thing is I have additional trainings in there. I have trainings on um, my IG story leads. So I break down, you get, literally get to see what was that story that I did, the sneak peek story uh, on Instagram that allowed me to get leads from new followers. The same day that they started following me, they became a lead. I walk you through in that training what I did, what would, you actually get to see the posts that I made. Um, and then how do you do that for your own business? So you get access to that in the membership site. In the membership site, I also have the Instagram posting power toolkit. So that gives you access to all the spreadsheets that I talked about, the tracking sheets. Because remember, I mentioned that if you are getting sales, not consistent sales, you have to track your numbers. So I have specific, um, a tracking spreadsheet for customers from Instagram of all the key things that you need to track, your numbers you need to track so that you can grow and scale the number of customers you're getting from Instagram. So I have a spreadsheet for the track your customer numbers. I also have a, a, a spreadsheet for you to track your recruiting numbers. You also get, um, what else do you get? Oh, in that toolkit, you also get a um, a weekly post planner. So it's, so you can like write down, okay, what are you posting on each day? Like you have that. You also get access to um, 
oh, the time schedule thing, which we're going to talk about tomorrow. I'm going to give you guys that tomorrow. But you also get the time schedule of like, okay, I want to get results in under two hours a day with Instagram. What do I need to spend the two hours on? That's there too. You also get access to the million dollar team building. So I actually interviewed um, a, a million dollar earner in our industry and having her break down how did she um, lead a million dollar team? Like what was her mindset? All of that that's in there. Um, then you also get access to the MLM goal achiever training, basically how to set and achieve um, certain rank and income goals in your company. All of that is in the rapid social media success system. And I'm giving you guys a discount. So normally that course is $197, but because you've invested and you're investing your time in the instant makeover um, three day series here that I'm doing, I'm giving you half off. So it's only $97 for all of that, um, $97 one time. And if you want to get access to that, again, that sale is only until Sunday, um, which is August 29th. Um, so you could just go to uh, socialsuccess.angelamcarter.com. That is socialsuccess.angela, M as in Mary, angelamcarter.com. All right. So now let's get back to the profit targeting. So now we're going to talk about how do you figure out who to target, who to focus on um, in Instagram that will actually buy your products. So I do this profit targeting strategy, no matter what platform I'm on, because it works. Uh, it works for any platform that you do. So this is like my checklist of, let's say, um, let's say you blind, let's say you put a, uh, a, a list of all of the companies in our industry, in the network marketing industry, you just put them on a sheet of paper and you post it on a wall. And then you blindfold me and you spin me around. And then now you have me throw a dart at that piece of paper. And whatever company that little dart, that arrow lands on, then you say, Angela, you got to join that company. And you have to now get go from zero customers to five customers a week in that company. What would I do? I would start with <laughs> this profit targeting. And I would get there in 90 days from everything that I've been teaching you guys, um, I, from the stuff that's in this rapid social media success course. But where I would start with is this process. I want to teach it to you. So the profit targeting, the first thing that I would do is I would pick a product that I want to sell. But I believe in being strategic, right? Again, I'm, I'm the queen of strategic marketing. I'm also a queen of strategic business building. So here's what I mean. I would be very smart about the product that I sell. And this is what I do for any other company that I join. I've only been in two. But I, but again, the first thing I would do is I would say, number one, what's the company's flagship product? What's the company that this company is? What's the product that this company is hyping? What's the company? What's the product that um, is a flagship is a flagship product or that there are incentives or promotions tied to? What's the product that the company is tracking a leaderboard for? Why would I want that? Well. My goal is if I get on the leaderboard of selling that particular product, that's going to boost my recruiting because then I'll just screenshot that, screenshot my name on the leaderboard there, and then that will help me recruit as well. So I'm very strategic about even the products that I market. That's a huge nugget there if you didn't catch it. Um, so I would pay attention to all of that. I would pay attention to what product or what product packages, because sometimes some companies have like a, a enroller kit, right? What's the product package that if my team also buy because again i'm a leader i'm thinking like a leader i'm thinking about the people that are coming after me what is the product package that if my team also enrolled with would also fulfill their monthly auto ship requirement why am i thinking about that because if a new if a person enrolls in my team with this enroller pack if i can demonstrate that i got the system because i follow angela's teaching i'm gonna have a system for how to sell that product and how to get up to five customers a week with that product and we're gonna know our numbers we're gonna have a system for how do we get customers with instagram with that and i'm not just gonna tell people just go out there you know just take action um i'm not gonna be one of those leaders i'm gonna say look we got the system on our team for how to sell and get up to five customers uh, uh, five customers a week with this product using Instagram. Here's our unique Instagram method methodology. Here's how many numbers you're going to need to DM uh, 10 people to get one customer. So if you want to, like, we're going to have our numbers. That's what I just gave y'all. So the, I would be smart with, and then now if someone says, well, like, yeah, okay, I want to start with this enroller pack, but I would already know the numbers of what this person would need to hit. And I have a strategy for how to help them hit it with those numbers. So then now it helps me enroll much, much more easily. Because now they'll see, oh, okay, great. We got a system. We got a plan. It's not just this 
week. Uh, well, you know, just take action and just, you know, just know your why. And some people, no, we're, we're not doing that. So we're going to pick a product that you want to sell, but be strategic about how you do it. Number two, this is where the profit targeting comes in. I always, 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 how many times? Always. I research the company testimonials for that product. Why? Do I just want to be happy and inspired and say like, wow, this is a great product. Look at all these people that bought it. No, I'm a strategic marketer. So I let the market, I let people support me and help me do my job as a marketer. So what I do is I research the company's testimonials of this product. I ideally want to see testimonials from pure buyers. Pure buyers are people who are not marketing an opportunity. OK, I love us. I love network marketers, but y'all can be biased. OK, y'all would probably some some people would never buy their company's product if it wasn't an opportunity attached to. It. I don't want I don't want to see testimonies from them people. I want to see testimonies of people who are not attached to the opportunity. Now, if you don't like if you don't know it and if your company doesn't have that, that's fine. I'll look at the testimonials and it may also include distributors. OK, I just I take what I can get. But if I can get testimonies of people who are pure buyers, that's gold. OK. Uh, what, what am I looking for? What problems did they have before they bought? Most testimonies will tell you like, oh, yeah, you know, like if it's a skincare product. Oh, my gosh. I had like this horrible, stubborn acne. And now, oh, my God, my skin is soft. Oh, my blemishes. Went away. Like they tell you what problems they had before they bought the product. I'm looking at that. Secondly, I'm looking at what results did they get. Third, I'm looking at did they mention any circumstances that was going on in their life that made them buy? So for example, a weight loss product, they may say, oh my God, you know, I bought this because I just had a baby. Ding, 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 ding. Let me write that down. Just having a baby. This is the urgency. Remember we talked about uh, leads and no sales. Like what's the urgency? What gets people to buy? There's sometimes there's life events that gets people to want to buy your product that drives them to now say, okay, I need this now. I want to know that as a strategic marketer, because again, we do strategic marketing over here. We don't just do attraction marketing. I'm not interested in just attracting people. I'm here to sell a product to attract and convert. And conversion comes from strategic marketing. So now if I know that the people that tend to buy this product, one of the life events, one of the things that happen that gets them to take action and buy is they just had a baby. I might actually just throw up an Instagram post about that. Or I might, you know, I would align some of my my Instagram marketing or my uh, my target to those people. OK, so this is all the gold, the marketing gold that you get from testimonials. The other thing that I would say, too, and this is just a side note, I was just teaching you all about customers, but we'll talk about recruiting. Pay attention to when you have when you have company calls and you have like the top earners come on the company calls and you're just like, oh, God, I don't want to hear another story. Boring, like I know, you know, this company's amazing. Yeah, pay attention because they're telling you how to recruit someone like them. Because a lot of these stories that they're saying are basically their testimonials of the company, and you literally could be like, okay, this person was a teacher. Uh huh. And what was what was their life like? And you listen to the company call. Okay, yeah, you were, you know, low pay. Uh huh. Uh huh. And now they're just basically teaching me and giving me marketing goal of how to recruit and how to market to teachers like them or whoever whatever occupation they're in see listen i, I i'm a marketer I don't, it's not just something i do it's who i am i don't turn my marketing ear off i'm listening i'm listening for what's the information that i need what was the problem that they're experiencing what was that i'm i'm looking and listening and then now i'm using what what people are giving me to help support me in my goal of bringing this product or service to a marketplace. They're going to have concerns. They're going to have fears. They're going to have all of these different things. Like even some testimonials, they'll say like, I heard about this product. I didn't really think it worked. I don't get mad. I'll be like, okay, well, well why are you, well, I'm reading them. Like why, why they didn't think it worked? Oh, because I saw so many people and I was wondering, but this actually worked. I'm going to write that down because whatever that concern was, whatever that, that, uh, that belief that they had about it, what, what it didn't work. I know other people probably have that too and they haven't bought yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that into an Instagram post. You see, have the eyes of a marketer. Use what's been given to you. It's all around you. So that's number two. Research your company's testimonial. Get that goal. What problems did they have before they bought the product? What results did they get? What circumstances made it urgent for them to buy? Because then now, number three, another thing you can do is look at your own story. I remember I said, I, I like pure buyers. Um, I like 
buyers who are not uh, distributors, but also take a look at your story too. Even though you're a distributor, take a look at your story. What uh, problems did you have before you bought the product? What results did you get? What other products did you buy before using this one that didn't work work as well? You can look at ask that question too to the people who um, the testimonials. Like they may mention, like, oh, I tried so many different things. I tried. I'm writing that down. <laughs> They're helping me to bring more buyers like them. I'm using that information, right? Um, so look at your own story too as well. Next step. Now we got all this information. Now we're going to create our ideal customer avatar. What does that look like? You can include, like if you start to see like, huh, a lot of people that are buying this product, they're between these age ranges, you know, write that down. Demographics is not that important. The age is not as important as these other things, but you may notice, right, that they're a particular gender. Obviously, you know, if you're selling makeup, probably probably female, right? Majority female. Um, so you would write those down, but that's not what's important. The most important thing is what were the top three problems that these people had that you saw? And then what are the top three solutions to those problems? How does your product uniquely and, 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 and in a superior way solve that product better than all the other alternatives that people have? Let's pause there. Most people don't address that in their marketing at all because, again, they're doing attraction marketing, which is cute. It attracts people to you. <laughs> people know and like you. They'll like and comment on your post on Instagram. But strategic marketing asks the question, um, how does my product or service, or whatever you're offering, solves each of those top three problems in a superior, better, unique way than all of the other alternatives? That's that's a nugget there. Uh, what books, events, gurus, or influencers or brands do these ideal customers follow? If you don't know this yet, like let's say you don't have any customers yet that you could ask them or you could see based on the, the accounts that they're following on Instagram, what what accounts do you follow? Like if you are similar to your ideal customers, um, what accounts are you following? and then use that as the, the accounts that you follow. Okay, so now what we do with this information, we follow the followers of those Instagram accounts. That's my active follower strategy. Remember I told you guys, that's not, I'm gonna post, I'm gonna wait and see. Like I believe in rapid social media success. That's why my course is named that. That's why the strategies that I teach for Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube are more active. You know, more, more like, hey, how can I get, get results quicker? Um, so you would follow the followers of the, those IG accounts. Um, then you would do my strategic marketing. You would now post content that talks about those three problems that you've uncovered and that you've written out on your ideal customer avatar. You would address what are the common concerns and fears and limiting beliefs that people have about your product. And then in those posts, you would now include those relevant hashtags so that people can find your post. That's the passive strategy of getting more followers. But then you're also pairing that with the active follower strategy of following the followers of those IG accounts um, that your ideal customers are following. That is the profit targeting methodology that will work for not only Instagram, but Facebook and YouTube. So that is day two of our Insta makeover uh, event here. Um, tomorrow, let me talk about tomorrow, what's going to happen. So tomorrow is all about the sales accelerator time schedule. So listen, I don't know if you picked up on the major breakthrough that I've just delivered and given to the cheat code <laughs> that I've just given to you today, the, the, the drop the mic moment that just happened here, because now you not only know all of the common growth milestones that you would need to go through to grow your business with Instagram marketing, but you know what to focus on to overcome that level of the Instagram marketing game to get to the next level. And you know what to do with that level. And you know now how to target the ideal people. Well, tomorrow we're going to talk about now, how do you get unchained? Like, how do you do this? And how do you start to do Instagram marketing where you're not chained to your phone all day and doing what people are telling you to do? Like, oh, while you're waiting in line, be on Instagram trying to build your business. While you're on the toilet, be on Instagram trying to comment and respond to people. While you're watching your favorite TV program during the commercial break, no, I believe in having a life and I'm going to teach you how to have a life too and how to structure your two hours 
a day on Instagram where you're getting the maximum results with those two hours. Because if you're feeling like you got to take all day, spend all day, it's because you don't have a system and you don't have a strategy for how you're spending your time or you may not know how to spend your time. So that's what you're going to get tomorrow. Um, again, for those of you who want to take this a step further, if you're like, okay, I, this is good. And this is like a huge breakthrough. I need it. How do I work more with you? How do I get the training on how to specifically do this on Instagram? Um, and not only that, how do I get access to all of your other social media stuff? Remember, I'm doing a discount 50% off of my social media success course. You go to social success com. I'm giving a 50% discount for all of you that invested your time in doing this instant makeover three-day series. You're getting it for half off for $97. Normal price is usually $197, but I'm giving you half off for $97. Um, and you get access to that only until this Sunday. So you need to go to social success com. You'll get access to all of those trainings that I mentioned. I'm not going to go through, I'm just going to go through what the different names are and you can read on that page what those are. The other thing is, I would encourage you, even if you're not interested in the course, or you're like, I don't know, uh, go to that page because I actually have, if, if you just want more training, I mean, if this wasn't enough, if you're like, Angela, I want more, you know, uh, if you're just crazy like that, uh, I actually have on that page um, my three top methods for getting consistent sales using Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. So what's working now? So if you just want to know, like, hey, I want to know, like, what's working now on Instagram, on Facebook, and YouTube? Um, there's a video on there too, but at the bottom is where you can buy that 50% off social media success, rapid social media success course that has the Facebook likes to leads course to teach you how to turn your Facebook fans into leads, the Facebook attractor application um, that shows you how to attract high quality leads using Facebook ads, um, the Insta sales training video reviews um, that shows you how to gain followers and rapidly turn those followers into customers. You get the YouTube training and you also get lifetime access to my membership site that has the monthly Q&A calls. So you can get all your questions answered about Instagram as you're implementing this, as you're hitting those milestones, um, you get that. And then you get also the bonus trainings as well. So that is today's uh, event here. Um, join me tomorrow. We'll do the uh, sales accelerator time schedule. And I'm going to give you guys um, the actual worksheet too. So I probably, I'll try to email it before the call, but if not, I'll do it after. But that's what we're going to go over tomorrow so that now you can have a plan for just doing two hours a day on Instagram and then go live your life. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you got value, comment on Facebook here. And let me know what was your breakthrough? What milestone are you at right now in your business? And uh, with your Instagram marketing and what's the next level for you? And do you feel like you got your breakthrough um, and got clarity around what you need to do to get to the next level. So leave me a comment. Let me know. I'll be looking at all your reviews here on Facebook. And with that being said, have a great night. And I will see you tomorrow on our final day of the instant makeover. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow.